Man, had a cutter. It was a walker down low, and they didn't get it to him. Buzz Williams bouncing, trying to implore his team to get their hands up on defense. Ziegler's three is right through the bottom. Huge three-point shot, Zakai Ziegler. Ravi, when you're small, you, you have to have the courage and the ability to make some long, deep threes every now and then. He is 2 of 10, and he's still shooting from three-point land. Zakai Ziegler now double figures with 12. Two minutes to go. Taylor, marble, ball deflected, good hands. Because Kai Ziegler, 28% from three in conference play on the year. And this is a deep one. When you're 5'9", got to have the toughness and the stuff to jump up and make one every now and then. Santiago Vescovi had convinced the officials to look at something. So Matt Adams going back to the very familiar position. Statement by Nate Oates. About 45 to go. It's a one-point game. Ziegler has the ball. AM has the lead. AM two timeouts left. Tennessee, two timeouts left. Buzz will normally stay aggressive right now. Not, not afraid to trap the ball if they get in a trapping spot. Uh, Tennessee's got a short clock once again to work with. Yeah, Ziegler nearly dribbled uh, double, double dribble. Picks it up, spin move, floater, no good. And Marble rips down the rebound. How about the defense by Dexter Dennis, the former defensive player of the year in his league. Just really got low and locked in. Marble's got 19 and 8 rebounds. A terrific all-around game for Julius Marble tonight. Well, this is normally Radford or Taylor driving, trusting your guards to make a play or throw it inside to Marble. Marble's got the freshman, Tobey Awaka, on him. We got four on the shot clock. Gordon, which would have been a dagger, no good. Marble has it, and they're going to get a foul. Boy, Kamwa looked like he had gone straight up. Maybe his... Arms bent and he came down, but Marble's going to shoot free throws. Yeah, I'm with you on that call. Leave the defense by Dexter Dennis. He's 6'5 and Ziegler's 5'9. And there's what Dennis is saying double dribble. Ziegler backs up and tries to suck Dennis up into it. He won't have any part of it. Bear hugs the ball, stays squared up, forces a tough two. Tremendous one on one defensive play by Dexter Dennis. So Marble who has attempted now 11 free throws. This will be his 12th. He's made seven. He knocks that one down, back of the rim, and straight through. I believe he has been fouled nine times in this game, Julius Marble. Only a 57% free throw shooter. Again, free throws. 23 of them have been made by a and tonight. 23. They lead by two. Really good job, Julius Marble. Three point game. Crowd screaming. And that crowd. And Indians going to extend their defense. But Buzz Williams doesn't give in in any area of the game. He's going to make life tough right now on Tennessee. And not let Vescovy get three. Good job of, of that screen rescreen to switch back out on him. Kumwa launches a three. No. Rebound out of bounds. It'll be AM's basketball. And they'll probably look at this one as well. Did you like that? Because they did a terrific job on Vescovy that it was Olivier Kumwa taking a three pointer. We well, can't let Vescovy be the guy that squeezes one off in this situation. And uh, is it the, the hand of Meshack that yes. comes from behind to push the ball out? I believe. I mean, Kamwa's got a pretty good stroke as well. But you made a second or third option take a three as opposed to Vescovy. I don't know if Meshack's hand ever touched the ball, but he certainly hit the wrist of Texas AM, right? From behind. 
Mm. That's a good question. I mean, there's a part of that that looks like it may have gone off the left hand of Anderson Garcia. Yeah. That's interesting because to me, Meshack's hand doesn't ever touch the ball. Game right now, if you're Tennessee, you have to come away with at least a point on this possession. Siegler in the paint, drives, throws it up, gets it to go. It's a one-point game. And a quick timeout. So Zakai Ziegler with the drive. It's 64-63. That's a damage tonight for the Aggies. Wade Taylor, 12 out of 13. Marble, 9 out of 13. Now they've made 22 of the 24 yeah. free throws they've made. A tough pass. Rodford, did he lose it? Ziegler's on the floor. What a job by Radford and Williams. Somehow was able to call a timeout. It didn't even appear as if Radford had control of the basketball. I mean, you have to have possession of the ball to call timeout, and that's what Rick Barnes is talking about right now. Does he have possession when he calls for it? Watch Buzz Williams in the background. That's where the timeout right there, and I, it, he's fighting with Ziegler for the basketball. There's a great shot of Buzz Williams in the background yeah, from the other angle. He's calling for it. Right about here, Under he's signaling two. timeout. But there's no there's no secure security of the ball. I mean, to me, that's a jump ball as much as it is possession by Radford. Watch Buzz in the background. At the moment, he calls timeout right there. I. That's a hard it, one. Yeah, it's a hard one. I mean, is the ball tied up as Buzz is calling timeout, yeah. or did Radford have sole possession of it for a split second? Either way, it's AM's ball. Bizarre basketball game here tonight with all the fits and starts, and it's as close a game as you can get. And now no timeouts for Texas AM. Keep that trap coming if you're Tennessee. So he has one. Got Radford it. lost it. Vescovy has it. He lost it. Wade Taylor. Wow, what a play. Wade Taylor. Tennessee got the turnover they needed. And Wade Taylor, the star of the night, took it right back. But Texas A&M is so good, man. How they respond to turnovers, missed defensive assignments, missed shots, bad plays. They don't let one mistake become two. And there's the hard trap by Tennessee. And watch Wade Taylor right mm. there, man. Just comes from behind with a rip and grip. Maybe a game-saving steal by Wade Taylor. The best free throw shooter tonight. The best free throw shooter on the team. He's made 12 of 13 tonight. And these are huge with 17 seconds to go. 22 points for Taylor. Rabbi, you, you know that AM does not want to foul right now. There's 17 seconds left. If you're Tennessee, it's going to be hard to get Vescovy open for a three because it's going to guard him, face guard him, wear the same jersey for these last 17 seconds. Drive the ball, continue to extend this game if you're Tennessee. Tennessee does have a timeout. Taylor knocks down both. Substitution coming in is Anderson Garcia. Radford goes to the bench. Gray and M, keep your pressure up right now. Don't let this thing be advanced easily. But you extend your defense. You cannot allow 25 in orange to get open on the back end of your press breaker. Ziegler one on one, eight seconds. Fading away, that's way off to the right. It's an air ball. Is that off Meshack? It is. It's AM basketball. Yeah, I mean, once again, it's Dexter Dennis, the former MVP defensively out of the American Athletic Conference, has a tough assignment. It's not easy for a 6 5 guy to take on a 5 9 fast electric point guard, and Dennis was so good on the ball with length to not get blown by and give up a quick two. Watch right here. He comes up, he keeps perfect distance between he and the ball, challenges on the shot side, stays away from the foul, forces Ziegler into a tough one. They're taking a look to see if it went off Anderson Garcia or Mesha. Oh, it's so easy to lose your discipline and lunge at the ball right there. From the free throw line, game over. As far as free throws go, they've made 26 
16 more than Tennessee has made tonight. Gordon trying to inbounds and he does to Taylor, who's immediately fouled by Mayshack. Revy, I think this Texas A&M team is the real deal. And they make just enough threes. You have to honest guard them. They drive the ball from all those perimeter, perimeter positions. Marble and Coleman are hard drivers. They get on the offensive glass. And what they do to you defensively, their turnovers for tonight, 16 they force against Tennessee. And they embrace the hard part of basketball as well as any team I've seen this year. Free throw will go down. It will end the game. And he knocks it in. What a night for Wade Taylor. And AM in a gut check type game at home. He's going to come away with a victory. Tennessee has now lost five out of their last seven in a little bit of a tailspin. Until they get healthy, they could continue in that spin. I said it early in the second half. Wade, Wade Taylor is the best point guard in the SEC. And there's starting to be some separation between him and the rest of the pack. 25 points, 16 of those on free throws. The final score here at Reed Arena. A&M 68, Tennessee 63.